All eyes are on the outcome of the battle of ballots in the Indian states of Maharashtra and Jharkhand. The results of assembly elections in the two states as well as several bipoles across India will be revealed today. Maharashtra witnessed record voter turnout in Wednesday's election to its 288 member assembly. Counting of votes has began just a short while ago with the counting of postal ballots first. Early trends and results are expected to trickle in by 9 a.m. IST. Two major political alliances in the state are competing for a majority. The Mahayuti Alliance led by the BJP that includes Eknath Shinde's uh, Shiv Sena and Ajit Pawar led NCP. The opposition alliance of the Mahavikas Aghadi has the Congress. Uddhav Thakre led Shiv Sena and Sharad Pawar's faction of the NCP. Exit poll results have showed different predictions. Maharashtra recorded a voter turnout of 66%, the highest in 30 years. This was a major rise from the 61.1% turnout in the 2019 elections, indicating not only the competitive nature of the election, but also the extensive voter mobilization efforts by both the alliances. Meanwhile, Jharkhand state witnessed its highest voter turnout of 67.74% since it was formed. Elections were held in two phases on November 13th and 20th. The ruling JMM-led INDIA bloc and the BJP-led NDA saw fierce competition during the election. Exit polls are divided on whether the BJP-led NDA will unseat the ruling GMM-led coalition. Well, the counting of votes will also take place for Lok Sabha by poll in Vainad. Congress contestant Priyanka Gandhi Vadra is making her electoral debut from the seat. Vadra, a member of the Gandhi Nehru family, is seeking to replace her brother Rahul Gandhi. Results will come in today for several assembly bipoles across the country. And well, for more on this, our principal correspondent Disha Shah is joining us live from Mumbai. Hi Disha, counting of votes has just begun a short while ago. A tough battle indeed between the Eknath Shinde Mahayuti Alliance and the Mahavikas Aghari. What's the latest? What can you tell us at this point of time? Hello, good morning to you and the viewers who are watching us here at Beyond. So it is going to be an extremely important day today because uh, it will decide the fate of who is the real NCP and who is the real Shiv Sena and which alliance is going to form the majority of the government here in the state. And before I get into details, I just want to show you what's happening around me. Mm. We are right outside one such counting center where the counting has uh, begun at about 8 a.m. amid heavy security you can see and as per what uh, the uh, precautions and the security measures that the government has taken no person who is not associated with the, the official process of the counting is allowed 300 meters in and around the counting centers and here we are talking not only about one such here but about about uh, in all the 36 uh, seats here in Mahara, uh, in Mumbai specifically. And if you talk about the tough battle, of course, it is going to be an extremely neck-to-neck uh, -neck competition, the fight that we see between the two major alliances, the Mahayuti and the Mahavikas Aghari. Mm -hmm. Mahayuti, which is uh, trying to retain its power, and for the Mahavikas Aghari, they are trying to make a very strong comeback. Because remember, Maharashtra always has been known as a swing state and why we call it as a swing state it's because that in the last five years alone after the last 2019 elections we saw three different chief ministers coming into power we saw three different governments we saw two big splits in the regional parties like the NCP and the Shiv Sena and that is why today's results will be a crucial point not only for the alliance together but for each and every political party here there are six political parties in these two alliances so it is going to be a matter of importance 
and we have seen a lot of political changes and alignments in the past couple of years so today's results are going to be extremely important we are going to see the key candidates like uh, aditya thakre from the shiv sena from the mumbai uh, a seat we are also looking at devendra fadnavis ajit pawar his son his nephew uh, yugendra pawar mm. who contested for the very right. first time then we are also looking at milin diora all of them are the key contestants the key candidates uh, who have uh, been uh, right the candidates here especially in maharashtra so it is going to be an extremely important day to see what really the poll outcome is Right, Disha. The assembly polls in Maharashtra is indeed a fight to retain the title. You did show us around about the security arrangements, but uh, I also want to talk to you about how you mentioned that Maharashtra is a swing state, and we have seen the political alliances uh, changing in the state. Talk to us about how the smaller parties could perhaps prove to be game changers in uh, the assembly polls today in the state. well absolutely smaller parties are also going to prove uh, a lot of importance especially when uh, the result comes out and if uh, none of the alliances have come out with the majority number which is a 145 then that is the time when these smaller parties come into play where both the alliances and especially the independent candidates as well where they will try to woo them to come into the party and alliance and then form the majority government here in maharashtra remember even in 2019 elections none of the uh, the bjp shiv sena at that point in time when they were together they also did not really have a majority but with the help of the smaller parties and the smaller uh, and the independent candidates they did go ahead and form the majority in the government so that is also going to be extremely crucial to see because it is not only the alliances that have campaigned vigorously on the ground level but the independent candidates and the smaller parties as well have gone out uh, especially in every corner of the state to mm. talk to the voters to see the issues that they have and to also make some poll promises that if they come into power of, or if they are voted then what they can do for the citizens and the voters in concern so definitely that is also going to have a significant impact on the political outcome that we might see today right Raidesha thank you for joining us on the show we'll of course be tracking the results as the numbers trickle in